The weather's getting better, and that means it's time for maybe my most favorite outdoor barbecuing grilling side dish ever. We're grilling corn, bitches. And all these chips can only mean one thing. We're either doing something very interesting with the corn, or we're curing the biggest fucking case of the munchies ever. But more about that in a minute. Let's start with the corn. Look, I love to do this. This is a great thing to do. Outdoor grilling, summer. It just, it, I, there's not a main grilling, barbecuing summer dish that you can think of that doesn't go with grilled corn. Name one. Chicken, corn, steaks, corn, burgers, corn, perfectly cooked pork, like the video we did, corn, hot dogs. Oh, um, corn, the, the, it doesn't matter. Uh, baked beans, not a main dish. And, and we'll, we'll cover those because we got a great freaking recipe for those too. But this, best thing ever, I'm gonna show you a little tip to like fast track it to get it on the grill. Because we like shortcuts, right? Yeah, we do. Um, my first tip, I like to buy this. Corn already partially dehusked. And I'll tell you why, it's because if you've ever bought an ear of corn before, that when you opened it up all the way, it was like jacked up and gray and brown and shit like that. Ugh, pisses me off. So I'm okay with this. Yes, it's a little bit more, but it's corn. It's not that expensive. Oh, and by the way, you get the benefit of them telling you produce is great on the grill. Some, yes. And peel for grilling information. So here it tells you what to do. Try these on the grill. Fruit, apples, apricots, bananas. Oh, they can suck my d I am not putting fucking apricots or bananas on the grill. I'm sorry. Peaches, pears, pineapple, yes. Watermelon, no, I'm not there. Mm. Uh, and now I need to apologize. I know it was bleeped. I have people that say they love to watch with their kids. And, and they always follow it up by saying, you know, we censor some of the... And we try to cover most of the bad words. Right, Max? Yes. But every so often, somebody will go, wow, it's amazing because you bleeped a shit, but you left in a f Did you just bleep those? Both? Yes. Probably. Uh, and so what I just said, I know is not right. And I'm trying not to censor myself too much. I'm trying not to swear too much. There's a tug of war going on in my brain, uh, folks. And uh, so... But what makes me happy is that people are watching with kids. And if you don't have kids, cool, or borrow some, because somebody else's kids are probably not watching me and they need to know what's up in the food world. Look, our responsibility is to raise these little human beings so they get big and can go out in the world by themselves. That's the job. They're self-sufficient proper people that know how to go about their daily business and be part of the world. And fending for themselves in the food world is part of it. You can't live on fast food or microwave food or frozen food. You can't. And our job here, we feel, is giving you the skills to handle that shit better. And of course that translates down to the little ones. Shit rolls downhill. Good shit also rolls downhill, and we believe we're good shit. <laughs> you know, if I didn't do this, honestly, I thought I could become a rabbi, a preacher, a minister, or whatever. There'd be swearing, but I think people would get me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look. You could take these ears of corn individually, pull off all the husk and the, the, the silk and shit like that, and just throw them on the grill. And you would get where you needed to be in about a half an hour. Or do what I'm going to show you now, and you'll be there in about five minutes. Fifteen. Just follow along, you'll get it. Okay, so we open these guys up. And out they come. I'll do one, and then you'll get it from here. Look, it's peeled, of course. You still have the husks and then the silk that's behind it. And the silk is really the pain in the ass part. And 
I want you to notice something. This in my hand is silk. This in the husk is silk. But the benefit, but one of the benefits of buying it like this is when you pull that off, you have almost no silk. For some reason, it just works out beautifully. When you buy them whole with the husk all the way around, you're peeling, peeling, peeling. In fact, they make special little brushes for that. We don't want to deal with that. Shit. That's just a waste of time. So now I cut this end off. We don't need this. We're not going to use this as a handle. We're going to get another handle. So this comes off, right? Push all this bullshit away. And now, rather than just throwing it on the grill, we're going to wrap this in, in saran or cling film. So we go like this. Put a piece of it down. We cut. We wrap this kit up. We do the other three. When you've got them all done, we take them, we put them in the microwave. I'm gonna give them about uh, five, six minutes. When, when you feel them, look, I say that because different microwaves have different wattages of power. So my microwave might be less wattage than yours, more wattage than yours. So here's the thing. I'll put it in five or six minutes for my microwave. And when you can really like stick your finger in, it's really softened up. That's when we take them out. Cool? Cool. And while they're cooking, I just want to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the husks for presentation purposes because they're damn pretty. I'm going to get rid of the silk because that is just a pain in the ass. Nobody wants that. You want a mouthful of this? Oh, great corn. That's really delicious. Why did I do that? But we'll save these. The other thing you need to know is while the corn is in the crow, <laughs> my brother used to say that for microwave. While the corn is in the crow, we're going to start melting some butter. So I'll just... Put the, the thing about, what the fuck is this called? What is this called? Stick. Stick of butter, thank you. A stick of butter in here, and uh, we'll get it uh, melting gently on the Evo. Gently. Okay, so to our melting butter that will go on everything, we're gonna add some garlic. And by the way, pardon the blue thumb, I'll explain it in a bit. I got this thing, ah, whatever. So a couple big cloves to the stick of butter. Ah, it's, ah, God, holy sh! what the hell just happened there? That splattered all over. See, this is why I like this garlic press. Talk about it all the time. Uh, unfortunately, they don't make this one anymore. They make a different version. Go in. Okay, and, ah, uh, ah, this, and then kosher salt. Always kosher salt. And we mix. By the way, I love saying that. And see the white? The white is the fat. And by the way, want to take a look at my shirt, Max? Oh, yeah. Fat means flavor. You've heard of clarified butter. Here, check in here. Clarified butter is when this white part comes off and you're left with just the beautiful clear underneath. Well, yes, it's prettier because it's not all clumpy white, but it doesn't have the fat. Not the same thing. That's the thing that lobster aficionados like to dip in, and I'm like, hey, stupid, you're using the wrong shit. You don't have any fat in that. Come on, you just got like grease, which is nice, but go for the fat. Come on. If you're dipping in this, let it be the best dipping in this that you can have and leave it whole. Okay, that's just going to sit nicely by itself for now. And now we can get our corn. And here we are. Corn is ready. Oh, sh Let me try that again. I want it to look good. And so here we are. Corn is ready. Damn it. Just leave it. Here's our corn. <laughs> I tried to make a cool spin. It didn't work. Uh, and look. If I peel one, there's steam, of course. But if you can tell... You honestly, this was six minutes. I gave it six. Uh, uh, you could eat this now and you'd be fine. But what's gonna happen when we throw these guys on the grill is gonna be so much better, so let's do that. And we go, one, 
two, three, and four. Okay, so here's our goal clearly is we want some color on these. And if you look at the first one, just a little bit, right? But I'm telling you the fact that we microwave these for five minutes is gonna make a world of difference. But I haven't told you what we're doing really. This butter, garlic, Salt nonsense is unbelievable. I could put my entire f***ing face in that and just like suck in. <sighs> yes, I'd burn myself, but a little part of my brain goes, dude, seriously, it'd be like so worth it. But I haven't explained what we're doing. So I have four ears of corn on here. It's grilled corn day, yes, but one will be Mexican grilled corn. One will be what I call Italian street corn, which by the way, Jilly does not believe has ever existed or will ever exist and doesn't make any sense in this world that we live in. So I'm dealing with that privately inside. One will be, um, stand by, uh, grilled corn with flaming hot limon Cheetos crushed around the outside. And one will be a special one, we'll, we'll save that. But the point is that they all start the same way. They all get wrapped, they go in the microwave, they start to get color out here. We now will start, as soon as I'm done talking, basting them with this butter garlic. Look, should probably use tongs for this because it's gonna be hot. They've been on about three minutes. You can see they're getting very little color, very little. It takes a while to develop color. What helps is basting them with any kind of fat. You could use oil, you could use bacon grease, but we're gonna use this butter garlic beautifulness. And that will enhance. So they're all gonna get that. And then how we end them all will change a bit, but you're gonna love this shit. So let's start basting, come on. We had one little um, problem today. Um, you've noticed that I've used before a clear handled blue silicon, um, silicone? Did we have this conversation? Silicone. Silicone, yeah. a paintbrush. That's really good, that's really good. I hated it when I first got it, now I love it because it cleans up really easy. It's blue, basically this color. I couldn't find it. I have no freaking idea where it is. And this is paintbrush worthy for all this. So I went looking for something. You know what I found? I found an actual latex paintbrush. It's gonna work. We've got a few things to brush on. The first of which is this garlic butter. So let's go kids, let's go. So we give it a little mix. And then we slather. Oh boy. And get the guy all the way around. Oh my God. Honestly, and when this garlic butter hits the heat, just changes in the most delightful olfactory way possible. Max, you finished college. Is that the right term? Mm, I've never heard that <laughs> term. Olfactories, is, are, are, are those not your, your nasal senses or is it all your senses? I, I don't have know. no idea. Perhaps. I, think so. I think it's right. We'll look it up. So what you're saying is you went to college I barely went to college, and yet I have more knowledge than you. <laughs> Is that what's going on here? You're older. I'm, stop it. You're older, exactly. Jilly. All right, so lovely, right? So now over the next, you know, 10-ish minutes, we're going to get color. We're going to get flavor. The whole thing is going to get amazing. And then it gets real. So your goal is simple. It's basting. It's turning, it's basting, it's moving it around a little bit. You don't want to be directly on top of a flame because that will make it black, but look, you just want to take your time. This is the perfect opportunity for you to be at one with your butter, your garlic, your corn, and a, a cocktail, by the way. Relax, folks. This is grilling. This is meant to be pleasurable and relaxing and slow. While that happens, we're gonna prepare a few things. 
This is optional. Look, I think uh, setting them down in a corn husk is a beautiful thing, but giving them a little color is great. So while they finish, I'm just going to take a little bit of this butter, not for flavor, but just to help the shit burn in and put these guys, if I can, ah, mother it's so hot here. Face down on the grill. This guy too. Just like this. And then I put a weight on top. Look, I don't expect everybody has one of those, but if you have something, this is all about presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing more. It's a completely unnecessary step, but one that I like. Basting, brushing, basting, brushing, burning, coloring, everything. Look, even color is where we're going, right? Like this, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This kid got a little, little bit at the end, but I'm telling you, it'll make a beautiful picture. So just go for it. And by the way, what, you know, what's happening while this is cooking is it's getting even softer and more luscious -er and more beautiful -er and it's going to be fantastic. And our husks look like that on the back. See that? That's all I want. That's all I'm asking. Wow, it'll make such a pretty presentation. Just set them off to the side and do the rest, which I won't show you because I'm too hot right now. Definitely pull it off the flames if they start going that way. When the flames come up because you've brushed them, move them to a not so flamey part of the grill. Wait till that subsides, move them back, move them around, brush them. It's a dance. It's a grilled corn tango that you need to be intimately involved with. And while they're finishing, let's prep some of the nonsense. And when the corn looks like this, gorgeous. This beautiful color in here, because that's what you want, because these little burned brown black spots are flavor, folks. This is the gold that you're looking for. This is the magic you're looking for. When they look like this, now we get the stuff ready that goes on top. The first one we're making will be what I call Mexican street corn, or what a lot of people call Mexican street corn. And the cheese we're using is Cotija cheese. It's, um, it's Parmesan-ish like. If you didn't have this, you could definitely substitute that. But what I like about it is the crumbliness because that's what I'm going for. And the little sharp, the, the sharp flavor of it. So we'll cut it open. And you can see it's, it's, it's red. Oh, so let's put some in a bowl. Watch, this is the way I like to do this. I like to take a piece and bust it up. Yeah, like you can't do this with too many cheeses. Feta, you could. Parmesan, you could. This is, I like the sharpness of this for exactly that reason, okay? We get this ready, my blue thumb. Then we take our ear of corn, and look, we're gonna need to hold it some way. And of course, you could use those little baby ear corn holder things that are ridiculous, or you could use a chopstick. So look, just pull it in half, and then, that's hot. So maybe just take a towel and shove the chopstick right up into the kid. Look, now that's a freaking handle. And we want to put cheese on it, but we want the cheese to stick. Okay, so now here's what we do. We take kosher salt, and we just give it a little bit of this because Corn is kind of sweet and definitely needs it. Now we want the cheese to stick. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our brush that had the butter on it and put a little mayo on this. Yes, yeah, Japanese mayo. Wow. This is going to be crazy good. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Don't be too shy. I mean, come on. If you've had this, you know how good. If you haven't, wow, are you in for a treat? Now we take our bowl of this cotija cheese that's all crumbly, and now this goes on top. That's why you do it over a bowl. 
don't th go too crazy. I mean, you don't want to cover it, but you want it definitely looking beautiful like that. And when it's at this point, gets just another thing or two. You can use chili powder, but I like chipotle chili powder. So a little sprinkle. Oh my goodness. Nice and even. And then just a tiny little bit of cilantro. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Right? And then we plate it. And the plating is simple and goes like this. Could you just hold that? Don't eat it. I know you, you're having trouble with the kind of corn that we're making, and that's okay, but. So we plate it like this. We'll put down something pretty. We get one of our beautiful corn husks, set it down. <laughs> the corn. And the only other thing you need to serve it with is a little baby wedge of lime. And when I say baby, I mean like the teeniest. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be fucking sick. Number two, we're calling Italian street corn. It just dripped on me. Of course, we start with a little kosher salt. And this one does not get mayo, but it gets pesto. Oh, yes, it does. And it goes on like this. Oh, boy. And when the pesto hits the hot corn, the luxuriousness and the flavor fest begins just in your nose. But you know what's coming because you know you're going to eat this. Just do a nice job. Nice, even spreading. Again, like the mayo. You don't need too much, but you do want a delicious amount. Next, for a little spice, we give just a hint of crushed red pepper flakes. A hint, don't go crazy, because you'll make people insane. But the heat that this adds to the sweet corn is really great. And finally, cheese in the form of Parmesan. Or if you want to go all Giada di Laurentiis on it, you could definitely go get some Parmigiano Reggiano. But the point is, whichever one of these hard Parmesan type cheeses you use, you're going to be fing golden. And then we plate. Look, of course, this is excess. You don't have to do it. But you're going to have them anyways, or whether you buy them whole with full husks. Look how nice that is. Okay, for this next one, I need to bring out the heavy guns. Because Max has requested, say it. Hot Cheeto corn. Hot Cheeto grilled corn. Hot Cheeto grilled street corn, we'll call it. So, I went out on a limb. I didn't get regular hot Cheetos. I got flaming hot Cheetos limon. Pardon the noise. Pardon this noise or the gardener noise. We got gardeners. And I know it affects us more than you, but. So who doesn't like flaming Hot Cheetos? And the, the lime version, way better than regular. But we need these to be like dust. So. Put them in the bullet, close her up, and let her rip. What? Let me start for a moment and, and say, in defense of the in defense of the bullet people, uh, I can't find the one with the actual blade. I've got. The I can't find the one with the actual blade. What I've got is this. This thing. What is that? Because it's not freaking doing what I want. I think it's operator error. I can't find it. Somebody threw it out. And it's probably with my proper silicone brush. But I still have to do this. 
This was such a good idea a while ago. Oh look, that is not enough to do sh** with. It's pretty good. Now I'm pissed. No, that's not f***ing good. Look at, there's like whole f sucking pieces in there. You can't put, you can't put this f***ing thing on the outside of a piece of f***ing corn, man. Now I gotta go manual on this. So now we take a piece of corn. Give it some salt, because it needs it. Then we mayoize it again. And don't forget, it's been living in garlic butter, which is gonna take the flavor over the top. And then here we go. Let's put our Cheetos, our flaming hot limon crunchy Cheetos in the bowl and apply to the top. I'm just getting bombarded here. Ah! Okay, how does that look? Looks stupid. Do you want anything else on here? <laughs> and we're ready to plate this nonsense. This and that. And for our final one, because we live in the United States of America, this one will be an homage to the American flag using red, white, and blue crunchy things. So of course we'll start with the salt and then we'll mayo in sections. So that looks about right. When the mayo's on, we'll add our red, which of course are the flaming hot crunchy limon Cheetos. Next is white. And I really wanted to use Funyuns because I love them. But compared to a potato chip, it would be more like the red, yellow, and blue. So we're going with potato chips. So we mayo, and then we chip. Why didn't I think of this July 4th weekend, or Memorial Day? We'll let everybody know for our final section, we'll be using blue corn tortilla chips. And on they go. This is definitely an art project, man, and it is not my world. I'm appreciating it, though. Look at that. It was pretty good. So not only what I like is the fact that you get the three colors, but you get three different tastes. Spicy, not spicy, and um, corny. I don't know. They have that distinctive corn chip taste. It's pretty cool, huh? So let's review before we eat. We've done the Mexican street corn. It has the mayo, it has the chipotle chili powder, and it has the finely crumbled cotija cheese and a little cilantro on the top. We've done the Italian street corn. No mayo, but we used the pesto, red pepper flakes, and then Parmesan cheese. We did the flaming Hot Cheetos Limon, and then the final version is this beautiful Red, white, and blue, homage to the United States. The only thing left is to have a few bites. So the only thing left to do is taste. And I just noticed this, I, I mentioned this. This is not a cut. This is a, 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 what, do you, what is it called when you have something that happens all the time? Recurring. Recurring, there's a, like a medical word for that. It's a chronic. chronic dry separation of skin and tissue at the end of my thumb, which sounds gross. It's like, because I'm, my hands are always in water from doing dishes and whatever, that dries out and I don't put cream on my hands and it's awful and it hurts like <sighs> Time to eat some corn. The Mexican street corn. Oh, yeah, please do this, please. Thank God. Oh, thank you. Mm. Chipotle chili powder comes through beautifully. That cotija cheese, you want to get it. Yes, Parma. Oh my God, the spice. Hold on. But wait. The the Italian version.
It's just menthol. It's just a little red pepper flake wakes everything up. The pesto, which I'm a huge fan of. Sorry, I got corn coming out of my mouth. Oh my gosh. This nonsense. Not yet quite a believer. Max wanted this. Max got it. Let's find out. Hmm. I'll be honest with you, Max. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. Wow. And then the extra crunch from the outside. I gotta have one more. Mmm. Okay, that's silly. But this, okay, I know what the red tastes like. The white. Salty. Do I have everything all over my face? You're good now. And the blue? That was definitely corn chips. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put them in this order. One, two, three, and four. Four options. What's the lesson, ladies and gentlemen? The lesson is grill some frickin' corn because it's damn good. The garlic butter on the thing. Look, all you have to do is the garlic butter, salt at the end, and you'd be fine. You want, you want to go a little further? Huh? Huh? You got options. We're about that. <laughs> what a ridiculous day it was here. But what a delicious day. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for uh, watching, subscribing, and good luck. I've... We are so fortunate that you guys are there. I'm meeting now a ton of you at Not Not Tacos here in San Diego, and we hope some of you are watching from Tokyo and you will meet us when we're there at the end of July. And then we got more fun stuff coming up. And by the way, road to, hashtag, road to a million. We're gonna do something fun, you wanna be part of it. We want you to be part of it, so. See ya.